Hmm? <gasps> what was that? Hey, Wellens? I guess you saw my dream? Yeah. It was... Come on, let's go. That was... Well, that was in his home world, right? Dropping a light bulb, not the sun. Which is okay, but I, I don't know what to make of that. That was kind of scary. Hello, George. Have you finished translating the journal? There, finally. The translation is done. Oh. That was faster than I thought. Well, yeah. You've been asleep for hours. She's right, I have been asleep for hours. Oh. Anyway. It looks like this journal was meant for Wellens. Oh. Oh? Here, read it yourself. Greetings, Wellens. If you can finally read this, that means you are near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. Okay. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. You know who I'm talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. Ooh. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Wellens, on the other hand. Oh, more pressure for me. Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The X. The window will be gone, so you will need to bring it back. That's all there is. Someone tore out the other pages. Oh, that's not good. We're missing instructions. Did you do this? No. And you're on your own, kid. I'm not sure what window means here. Maybe Wellens will have to figure that one out. Right. By the way, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. <sighs> Do I have to explain everything? <sighs> it's just a fancy word for objects containing yellow phosphor. You know, stuff that glows yellow. Oh. I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They fit the description, right? Yeah, but you only have two of them. And they're super rare, so it's not like you're just gonna find something like that on the ground. Right. Okay. Here, you can have this. Oh. Thank you. Oh. It looks kinda like you. What? Never seen dice before? No. I mean, yes! I mean, it's just... It's the same as your head. <laughs> Never mind. So, yeah. Need anything else? I'm good, thank you. Off you go, then. Don't screw this up, okay? I'll try not to. Well, we have... A lot of things now. Amber, the dye, and the feather. Which are... what we need. So I guess we can just head straight for the tower. But before we do that, I was informed that I missed a room in the alleyway. An important room, supposedly. So before we go back to the tower, that's where I'm gonna go. Hey, Wallens? Do you remember where the cafe is? Uh, that's... We take the elevator, right? Oh, good. I'm asking because, well, I'm a little hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. So, is it okay if we go get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes. <laughs> sure, buddy, let's go. Yeah, we should get some food. In these long quests to save the world, we never go to the washroom. We never eat. 
We don't do any normal bodily functions anymore, which is probably not that healthy. But before we do that, I'm gonna find this room that I'm missing here. So if I go this way, this goes to that guy's home. And then this goes back out to the marketplace. And this goes to the secret ram club, I think? Oh! Oh! Whoa! Wallens, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree! Oh! That's the thing we saw in the alleyway earlier! The big flash! I'm sorry if you're looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um... But... Can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh, what, what do you mean by that? No reply. There's no one here. Oh, that really doesn't sound good. It sounds like we'll be whisked away and we can't come back here. Um, I'm hoping that was the only thing I missed. Let me just have a quick glance at everything to make sure. Over here is the cat room, right? No, 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 this is where we came from. If I go this way, it's the cat room. Yep. And then if I go this way, is the ram. Okay, sure. I don't think I can fast travel here. Oh, I can, but, um, I need to go back to the elevator. And then, we will take it. I hope they serve pancakes, though. Was it the one on the right or left side? I seem to recall there being two cafe-like places. I guess we'll find out. There was definitely one on this side, too. Oh? Hmm. Was it like that before? Um... Yeah, yeah, here, here, here. This is a cafe, right? Oh, hey, you're back! Did you manage to fix the elevator? Hmm. Wellens and I went to the surface already! And... <laughs> well, I remember there being a cafe here. Do you have pancakes? We sure do. Wait, I don't have any money. Maybe I can help you wash dishes or something? Oh, come on, I'm the savior. Give me some free stuff. No, no, it's on the house. The least I can do for the savior, right? You got it. Here, why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry some up for you. Pancakes! These pancakes are so good! Thank you so much! No problem. You looked really hungry. Yeah, I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go in the tower. Ah, gotcha. So, I guess pancakes are your favorite food? Mmm. Well, almost. My favorite food in the world are the special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them up into the batter. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. They taste amazing! She always made them when I was feeling sad. Or lonely, or... Mama... I really miss her. I just... I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. 
I don't even know why I'm here. I just want to see my mama again. Oh, um... There, there. It's gonna be okay. And I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You managed to get this far already, right? Yeah, but... And you'll get to go home afterwards, right? Oh, cafe guy, I don't want you to say misleading things that might not happen. Right. Hey, want some more pancakes? It's okay. I'll be fine. So, yeah. Thanks for coming by. Mmm, thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. Mm, people are not nearly as thoughtful as Silver when they say things sometimes. Because she was really the only person who considered that, hey, even if you do this, maybe... maybe you can't go home. And just like Nico, I have a really, really not good feeling about this. <sighs> There's still too much about this world we don't know. We've basically been thrown in here. And somebody's like, hey, here's a prophecy, go fulfill it. We don't really have a context for anything about this world. Everything we know is just through... Well, I guess it's the best way we can learn through the people that are around here, but still. We don't really know how this world really, really works. So I'm I'm a little bit worried. And that guy, the the entity without a physical form, that's talking about the computer, right? I just... <laughs> the computer guy... He's not very nice to me, so I don't like him all that much. He or she? Or it? Hmm. If I go back to the... Um... The tower. I can go here by... Yeah, I think I can get there by the here. Mm -hmm. There's actually no teleport point for it. Which is fine, because it's right here. And like I said last time, it looks like a gigantic X. So... I hope this works. Hmm... Alright, Nico, don't worry, I'll be back in a sec. It actually let me close it without any weird warnings. That's a first. Nico? Is this... the inside of the tower? It's... a lot darker than I thought. You're not holding the sun. Wait... Where is the sun? Well, and... do you know what happened to the sun? Uh... Wellens? Oh! <gasps> Nico can't hear me, and I can't say anything back! Wellens? Come on, Wellens, say something! Wellens! What's going on? Oh, poor Nico! I can still control Nico, though. <gasps> Where are my stuff? I don't know where to go. Oh, poor Nico must be feeling so alone right about now. No home, no mama, no pancakes. No me. Not that I'm like Nico's best friend or anything, but we've been together for a good bit now. And especially in this foreign world, where all each other has. Oh. I'm not ready for this. This is not gonna be anything good, I know it. Hello, Nico. Hello? Congratulations, you are now inside the tower. 
Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Wellens before. Where's... Wellens has already left. You're lying, I'm right here. I had to resort to contacting you directly. Wait, so... Wellens is gone just like that? Correct. For good? Correct. Wellens has already finished their mission. And so have you, Nico. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you will be home. Oh! But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought we were supposed to go to the top of the tower. I thought there was supposed to be somewhere we needed to put the sun in. And now, I don't even have the sun anymore. And Wallens is just... gone. This feels wrong. But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? I guess I am. But it's just... Oh... Is that the only thing I can do? I don't know about this. Nico's right, this feels really wrong. But at the same time, it's... It seems to be the only thing we can do. Nico, you can't hear me, but I'm here, okay? I'll... Don't worry, don't worry, buddy. Let's just hope this actually takes you back home. I never even got to say goodbye to Wellens. It's okay, Nico. Oh? And as for you, Wellens. We're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. Well, you know I can't do that. That was... that... come on, we can't do that. Can I not do anything? Oh, wait, did my desktop change again? This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there is more to the story. Documents, my game's one shot, look for the symbol. Okay, let me... Let me get a window and get that going. Here we are. Documents. My games. One shot. Read me. This is a synopsis of the game. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we don't need to read that. Uh, let's open this then. Okay? I see the symbol. Should I do something with the symbol? I can close it. I can open it again. I can't do anything here though. Should I open the game while I still have that open? Oh! Nico! Oh, here. Hello? Wellens? Was that you just now? I thought I heard your voice in my dream. Oh, why can't I talk to Nico? Oh, I guess you're still not there. Wait, there's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. A clover. A sign of resilience. Hmm. Well, the computer is on again. So I guess me opening this thing, this other window here, gave Nico a clover. Can I close that now, then? Okay. Yeah. 
You're still here. Nico, why are you still here? You. Why did you come back, Wellens? I told you to stay away. Well, you'd never explained anything to me, so if I find that things are not to my liking, of course I'm going to come back, right? You knew I tried to cut the story short, is that it? You wanted more out of me, is that it? You're not wrong at all. Fine. If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. Oh. I got a clover, don't mess with me. <gasps> it glows. Oh, it, oh, I thought it glowed next to the door or something. Oh. Well, I don't know about this. <gasps> oh no, what is this? This is like garbled up and... Are we inside the tower? Oh no, what do I do here? It's a never-ending loop. The clover I'm holding reminds me to never give up, but... It doesn't look like if I keep doing this, it'll do anything. And that's all I can do. Walk along this path. There's gotta be something I can do. Oh! Whoa! Hey, this thing changed! This is the... the thing with the... Clover. Back then, I told you about the entity as little as possible. Oh, do I put the clover on top like that? Is that it? Let me try this out. Uh... No, maybe not the best way. Did anything change? No. It's transparent, though. That window is transparent. Okay, you know what? Give me a second to set this up so that I can show both of the windows at once. I've got the things to overlay on top of each other based on the position of the clover, but I'm not sure what I should be doing here. Back then, I told you about the entity as little as possible. Well, there's an opening on the, the left side here, so is it really just as simple as me walking this side? Ah! Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. You must be the- this must be the author. So this time... I go up? Do I even need to overlay them like that? This being has a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Put it over here. Again, up. Regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. Hmm. I don't think I actually need to keep doing this. Can I just move it like this, maybe? Now you can see both of them. Ah, but do not worry. The entity cannot touch you. Nor can it do anything to me. I already left the world on my own terms. This is definitely the author. I never meant for the entity to exist. Uh... Whoa. But now that it is fully sentient, one thing became clear. The entity seeks death. Death to itself, death to the world. A relentless desire that manifested physically. You have already seen the scars. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can 
to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. I think it's this one. But now that it's fully sentient, one thing became clear. I never meant for the entity to exist. Oh! Wait, I'm going backwards. Whoa, how long have I been reading the same notes that I didn't even realize? No, go back here. Maybe I need to start overlaying them again. Yep, the entity seeks death, a relentless desire to manifest physically. You have already seen the scars. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. Uh, I have to overlay this one, I think. Okay. It's this one right here. Before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit. That is where you, God, will make the final judgment for the world. I'll overlay this one too. Oh, okay. It's this one right here. Of course, the entity will contact you again there. Like that. The one in the middle. And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. Honestly, I'm putting so much effort into this dragging thing right now. It's hard for me to pay attention to everything. This will end the world instantly. Uh, this one... Okay. Where's the... where's the clover? Here. Oh, am I going back to the one I came in through? No, no. It's not that simple. What? I'm sorry. I do not know what to do in a situation like this. But I think, I have to tell you the truth. The sun is the messiah's tie to the world. How do I... Um... Maybe I follow? Yep. As long as the sun is intact, the messiah remains trapped here. Hmm... There is our problem here, then. Putting the sun back in the tower, or bringing Nico home, we can only do one of those. So, let me see. Gotta go all the way to the end. Shattering the sun may terminate this world, but... How the heck do I get that one little block there? That's the block I'm supposed to get. Shattering the sun may end the world, but... It is also the only way for the messiah to return home. Come. I'll start here. 
like that. Okay. I get the outer circle here. Then how do I get the inner... inner parts? Oh crap. Have I messed up? No. I can walk back in over here. Mm-hmm. Then if we want to get inside here... That... Is that not it? Oh! I did not realize things could end up like this. Please forgive me. We're at the top! This is the top of the tower! It's the light bulb! Thank goodness it's safe! I guess Wellens isn't coming back. Oh, Nico, I was with you the whole time. Nico, I'm here. Wellens? Yes? Is that really you? I thought you were gone. I never left you. I was feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. Well, that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? Oh, guess we need to figure out where to go now, and... Mm. The sun! It lit up on its own! Should you pick it up? Yep. Mm. The other window disappeared. The clover window. Oh, this looks kind of like my basement. The basement of the house I woke up in. Wow, it... Whoa. Oh, this is like the same place. It's a little tree. Just a toilet. It's a mirror. Mmm. So this looks like the house that we were in originally, but everything is nice and fixed. Ad finitum. What is this in Latin? The end or something? Hmm. It won't turn on. Wait. No sleeping. Wow, even the TV works. The wood is neatly stacked in the fireplace. It's a sink. There's nothing in the fridge. Hmm. But instead of the place where we put the sun, now there's doors. Oh! Let me move the window back a bit. So you actually made it here. I... guess you win, Wellens. I'll tell you how to save the world then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb, and... Yeah, I don't need to listen anymore, because I'm not shattering it. Or am I? If I don't shatter it... The Nico... Oh. Let's think about it when we come to that. This door is locked. I'm just humoring you. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Are you still planning to save the world, Wellens? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you even figured out what this world is? What do you mean? 
I told you at the beginning, your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. The final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. Hmm. Programming. You only have one shot, Wellens. If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home, like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of the sacrifice. Kinda weird how every time this guy talks, the background of the world changes into like a bare bones 2D kind of state. <sighs> At least, tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? Enough of the guilt tripping, okay? I can make my own choices. Sure is taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Wellens. Are you excited, Wellens? Hmm, because Nico didn't hear anything that guy was telling me just now. We're finally gonna save the world. And I know it's for real this time, because you're here. And then... I'll get to go home for real this time, too. I can't wait to see everyone again. Are you okay, Wellens? You seem a little quiet. Is this me making the choice to tell him or not tell him? Well, we should tell him. He has the right to know. Nico. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. Oh my god. We can't save both. The world, and you. What? What's that supposed to mean, Wallens? To send you home. We must break the light bulb. What? But won't that... But won't that... End the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. So, what happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You don't? Hmm. It's a very awkward elevator ride. And we're finally here. The culmination of our entire journey. Me and Nico. So this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I'll have to... Break it? Oh... Wellens? What should I do? <sighs> What's the right thing to do? I feel like if we break the light bulb, that's like giving in to what the entity wants. But if we don't, then Nico is going to be stuck here. To be honest, I don't feel particularly swayed towards either choice. I'm really in the middle here. But if I think about all the people we met on this journey, a lot of them were pretty pessimistic and Silver was saying stuff like, Oh, even if you save the sun, that's not, that's not the only problem we've been having. So even if it comes back, we're still in a lot of trouble. 
by that notion, I guess I'm a little bit more inclined to save Nico, especially because Nico is the one that I've been traveling with all this time. And this world? Um... We've met a lot of nice people, but ultimately, I feel that my allegiance lies with Nico more than anyone else we've met. Oh my god, but that's like giving into the entity too. I think I'm gonna go with my heart on this one. I'm going to return Nico home. I don't think it's fair to like keep him in here to save this world that he doesn't really belong in either, so... I'm gonna return him home. Oh my god. This better work. I... Trust your judgment, Wellens. Wellens? What happened? It's very dark in here. Oh! I can see a light at the end of this passage! I think I hear a voice too. Mama? I can hear her calling me! All I need to do is pass through this wall! I'll finally be home again! <gasps> well, Lens, I guess... I guess this is goodbye. I'm glad I got to meet you, Wellens. Thank you for everything. And Nico's gone home. He walked out of the, the one-shot world. Oh, I didn't need to see this. Are they gonna make me see? Oh my god. It's not just about the world dying though. It's going back to like the basic building blocks of only the borders and stuff, no colors. Complete lifelessness. I do feel bad that all of the people we've met are, you know... We've basically killed them. But at the same time, I don't think it's fair at all for Nico if I choose to keep him trapped in here too. Man, what a downer! Is that it? Fatal error. Savior not found. Shutting down. Can I open it again? No, it's the same thing. Hmm. And I guess that's... That's the end of one shot. I had one shot. And I chose to let Nico return home. Whether that's the right choice or not, I don't really know, but it's the choice I've made, so... It's the one I'll live with. Yeah, even up until the end, um, it doesn't feel like a finished story. There's a lot of plot threads still hanging here that I never really got a proper resolution to, such as the whole author thing, the whole entity thing. We don't really know what any of these are. And I suspect they're answered in the Solstice DLC that I'm aware of. And um, as far as I know, that means I will have to delete the save file that I have right now and go back and replay again. 
And I'll just be completely honest here. At least in this moment, it's not something that I have either the desire or time to go through again. And I'm saying this outright because I don't want you to be waiting for something indefinitely that might not happen. Hmm, I enjoyed my time with One Shot. And just like the name implies, implies, explicitly says, One Shot, One Shot. I only had one shot to do this, and I made my choice. I chose to bring Nico back into his own world. Whether that's a good choice or not, I don't know, I don't know. But it's the one I've made, so I will live with it, and thank you so much for watching. My name was Wellens, and I will see you all, hopefully, in another place. In another time. Bye!